Hey guys, welcome to our channel, RV for Four. Four. Today we are going to look at the Forest River Salem Hemisphere 378 FL. So here you have the floor plan for the Salem and you're gonna be in for a surprise. 42 foot long. We started with the front gooseneck guys. It is not an upgrade one because I don't see no, they have some rovers on it that help kind of like the vibration when you're towing it. Now we have the space where you're supposed to have your um, generator plus your batteries out there. I think it's battery prep already. Yeah, I wish there was somewhere else we can put that wheel because I think it does take a lot of real estate, but it's there. It's we got the outside speaker and the undersized belly size and my son Gabriel, our son Gabriel will help us open it. And you see it's beautiful. Yep, lots of space. You have Aluminum a, frame. Mm -hmm, you have the inverter. I love the fact that it's laminated and it's like a wooden, it's the same, the same laminate as the inside, if you can see, take yep. a peek on it. You have the more rice step, um, the solid step above. Very, Very nice. Very solid, love those yep. type of steps. Um, also see the price there. Like we always tell you guys, many, many occasions, it's very. Just make sure you check ahead, yeah. Check with your dealer. You, who knows, you might find a better price. You got the outside uh, TV hookup out there. Mm -hmm. um, we have the nice big windows. It's not frameless, but it looks pretty nice though. Pretty, yeah. pretty cool. Mm -hmm. You got the suspe suspension in there. I don't think it's an upgrade either. I don't think it's, I mean, it should be good. Mm -hmm. Hope you with any bumps in the change. road. Yep. And your auto leveling jacks, very nice. Very nice to have, especially when they're automatic. Uh, you have the second stairs, solid step, and they also help you out there to go to the second bathroom. Yep. And then you have somewhere to hitch up your dogs, yeah, your four, four legged dog. Well, you have a nice size. Um, and I also love the colors, very light for those hot summers. Yes. Um, you got the backup, pray for the backup camera. Mm -hmm. You got those big, beautiful windows, which I love from the rear. Yeah. Um, this is where you... Uh, put your stinky slinky. Yes. And you can you see on this. the side that it does have three slides on this side alone. So it is a big fellow. And heavy. Yeah. And this our son Gabriel again. Modeling. And this is where you put your, your hose for your uh, sewer line or your black tank. Yep. Preference. It's an option. So... We have the beautiful colors. I love those lines, those blue lines, it's like a metallic blue. This is your electric connection, pretty much. For your 50 amp. Very simple. Yeah. It's a very, even though it's a big rig, guys, it's very, just straightforward, very simple. I love the details that they put on the wheels because it, it kind of looks kind of funky. It's very cool. And there you go, try to make our way back behind those three slides. They, it's just so, so big. Uh, we have the outside shower and all your hookup for your yeah. fresh water, city water, your black tank, and uh, all the stuff that you need mm -hmm. pretty much. And I like that it's uh, closed in. Yeah, I would like for them to put something where the hoses won't like wet the floor. Yes. You know, some kind of liner so it doesn't. And you also see the beautiful anything. space under the belly. And uh, again, it's aluminum framing. On uh, the propane tank over here, you got a system that when one goes out, the next one will take over. Yep, automatically. So it's, it's automatically cool. switched. And they're both 30, 30 pound propane tanks. And then you got your information about the tires, the size of it, the brand, the, pretty much what kind of tires are they? Yep, the car. How many pounds cargo. they should have? Yep. And then we come on the inside. And like I said, you will be in for a surprise. It's beautiful. The fact that they have a second level, it feels like a second level, but it's pretty cool, pretty cozy, mm -hmm. very nice. See, can see a lot of people. I love the entertainment system because it has, you know, big TV on the front. I think everybody can see it no matter where they're sitting. Um, there's lots of storage space, and there's a, a nice little fireplace um, that also heats up the, the area. And the sofas kind of give you more um, bedding once you open them up. And look at that beautiful kitchen. Oh, man. I mean, the refrigerator, yep. the stove, the, the oven. It's a little high for my wife, Erica, but <laughs> we still love it. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's, it's there. The backsplash is very cool. Love very, it. Very I nice. love the colors. Um, Just the details. Again, very, very nice. I would probably, just my choice, opt for a RV refrigerator 
I don't really like the residential. I don't think they're made for RV, but that's my opinion. The problem um, is they're just very heavy. Yeah, and they you, are. You got to be careful. Add a mm -hmm. lot of pounds to the uh, rig itself. Mm -hmm. I love, because you look very modern, I love that there's no carpet on the kitchen. Yes. Even on that Actually. slide right there. Yes. It's just beautiful. I mean, the wood is very light. Mm -hmm. It's very spacious, even though it's a little tight in there as far as kitchen, but it's very spacious because of the color. And I think um, as far as like the RVs that we have seen so far, this has a lot of space as far as storage, as far as countertop. I mean, you have an island in the middle of the kitchen and there's countertop on the side as well. So it's very and nice. we go with the dining room table. It's one of those things that I believe to all the chairs you can flip around. Yeah. If not, but they also have, what I love about those chairs, they also have a storage where you sit you kind of lift up that part and you have a little storage there. Mm -hmm. Going yeah. back to the kitchen, we're you looking at that beautiful well. island. You have yeah. all those space in there. You have all the connection, mm -hmm. all your temperature to check. Notice you have two ACs in this unit. Yes, all the gadgets and buttons for your slides and everything. Now we're gonna move to the bathroom. So the bathroom is pretty cool. Um, and I, I love the fact that again, it's very clean. Um, I love the color choices that they did. Very nice. High the, ceilings. Oh my God, the ceilings are high. So I'm always hearing, you know, is this um, tall enough? Am I, am I gonna fit? And the fact that they put those ceilings so high up, I think everyone is gonna have. And last but not least, guys, this is the bathroom. The, ma the bedroom, actually, sorry. The master bedroom. Beautiful bed. Mm -hmm. I believe it's a queen size. Yes. Some of them you can fit a king size, actually. Yeah, and you can walk around this one. I love the headboard because it is just, it adds a little bit of more height visually and the windows side by side. Lots and lots of oh windows for those nice lights. Yep. Not only do I love the fact that it's in the back and that's usually where you have those most beautiful scenery. Um, and the fact that they put the bedroom in the back is, is, is awesome. So. Yes, I love the fact that, like I said, you can pick either a queen or a king size bed. You can still walk around the bed. Yep. The other thing is in this space here, you also have your washer and dryer prep. And now let's head upstairs. Yes, you heard me right. Woohoo! So the upstairs is awesome because it is a space, private space for the kids if you have little ones like, like we do. Um, and if you don't, then you have extra storage. Yes, and it feels, even though it's a little, you know, for adults a little maybe cramped out there, you might have to bend your neck very good, but for kids, it's the perfect hiding spot or hideout. Yes. It feels like a tree house. Yeah, yeah. You have Natalia trying to There's hide from Gabriel. Daughter, just try to um, hide out there. I'm yeah. probably just go up there myself just to mess with them and <laughs> kind of play hide and see. Maybe scare them once in a but while. But there is a lot of space, as you can see, and the kids enjoyed it very much. So, guys, there you have it. Is the Salem Hemisphere 378 FL? Remember, guys, to stay home, stay indoors. Just follow everything. Just be healthy, safe, and enjoy the journey. Thank you, guys. See you guys in the next video.